This is the uh, vacuum motor, uh, made for very high RPM, made to run on AC, uh, and wired so that the stator coil, the armature coil on the outside, is in parallel with the uh, coil that's the rotor on the inside there. You can kind of see it, the red part. What, uh, what was asked was to uh, take the stator coil, the outer coil, and short it out to itself, which I did. This is the short on one end, and the other end is shorted together there. You can kind of see that. And then uh, from there I've got the brushes going to the center rotor are coming off and going over to this power supply, which is set up at about uh, 24 volts. Kind of see down there. It shows. Oh, sorry, I cranked it back down. Crank that back up to 24 volts. Alright, so there it is at 24 volts. <coughs> and now shorting out the, uh, or rather connecting the rotor to the DC 24 volt source, spins it up. The volts drop to 20. The amps are at 2.2 amps. If you watch the amps when you just start it, the amps are very high from the startup torque. But it does spin. Watch. It comes down once it stabilizes. Creating drag causes the amps to go up. Anyway, so there it is. Uh, works with a DC field emanating from the center rotor that creates the reactive field on the stator armature, which then induces rotation, although there's not a lot of torque to it. Uh, there it is, vacuum motor.